All right, Mr. D, we always tell folks to read the label. We always tell folks to read the label. If we don't, we made a mistake. That's right. And forgot to. That's right. Because anytime you use a pesticide, it's extremely important to read and heed That's right. the label. Heed. Yeah. And heed and heed. There's probably a lot more money went into developing <laughs> the label on these products than went into the active, you know, the product that's in the bottle. Right. Because it takes years for a product to be labeled. Wow. It's tested in the field. It's looked at for several years and it's tweaked. The rates are tweaked mm -hmm. by biologists and researchers. And, and when the label is finally approved by the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, then you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And because of that, uh, you and I can make no recommendation that's, right. uh, that's off label. Mm -hmm. we, we can't make any recommendation that's inconsistent that, right. with what, what's on this label. Now, all labels, there, there are things that are required by federal law to be on every pesticide label. And I've got a few examples here, and I'm going to go through okay, let's do that. some of those things, all right. not all of them. Okay. Uh, it's pretty easy to go to the law and find out exactly what has to be on every pesticide label. Sure. But the, the, the first thing that I look for on, on a pesticide is the active ingredient. First thing I look for. That's and right. uh, this is an example. This is a, the trade name is Seven. Right. The active ingredient is down here on the bottom in real small print, kind of like on some of the food items that we look at. Uh, and this is carbaryl. 22.5% carbaryl. So I know that's the active ingredient, and that's the only pesticide that's in here. It is 77 77.5% other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now, so I see that. Uh, so every pesticide label is going to have the trade name, it's going to have the active ingredient, and the percent active ingredient. Okay. That's not all <laughs> of the label. Oh, if you notice, it. this is not just one page label. This, this has a, 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 a the insects that it will kill, if it's a herbicide, it'll have the weeds that it'll kill. If it's a fungicide, it'll, it'll have the diseases mm -hmm. that it's designed to control. And when you, when you open it to page one, yeah, it's a book. Yeah, it's it a is. Book attached it's a to mini this book. container. <laughs> uh, this tells you first aid. Yeah. Every pesticide label has instructions on first aid. It, uh, there's a note to the physician. Yeah. If someone is poisoned, or accidentally ingest one of these products, it's very important that you take the label with you, mm -hmm. take the product with you to the doctor, because here, the note to the physician tells the doctor what the antidote is. Right. Atropine is anecdotal. Uh, it's got a telephone number for medical emergencies, 24 hour a day telephone number that you can call. Talks about precautions uh, regarding pets, mm. animals, and, and children. And, you know, environmental hazards, you know, you do I not want to spray it very close to my fish pond? Uh, this will tell you when you look at the environmental hazards. Right. Uh, every label, somewhere on that label has right. this statement right here. And, I, and this is the only thing that I'm going to read word for word. All right. Let's go for uh, it. Under directions for use, it says it is a violation of federal right. law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. Read the entire label before using this <laughs> there product. It goes. They're really very interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting yeah. reading, especially yeah. well if you're in our line of work. Right? Yeah, yeah, we reading. do it. All but about. you learn a lot, and and uh, it's so important because trade names change, Thanks. active yes. ingredients yeah. change, yes. and uh, uh, there are restrictions. That have a list of do nots uh, <laughs> that that uh, you go through, and then as you get further over in here, oh, storage and disposal how to dispose of the container when you get finished mm -hmm. and how to store it. Mm -hmm. And you know, very, very important information to know. Uh, most pesticide containers, you can triple rinse them. Mm -hmm. You know, once you, you finish, triple rinse them, put the product back in your, in your sprayer, uh, you know, as you're finishing up and, and then you can throw the container in the garbage most of the time. Mm -hmm. But you need to read the you section read on storage right. and disposal to make sure. Uh, <clears throat> it'll go, uh, there'll be specific instructions on different crops you know, this is blackberries, blueberries, ornamental trees, shrubs and flowers, uh, you know, everything that you can use it on. If it's not on here, I can't recommend that you That's use right. it. <laughs> if you accidentally That's spray right. it on your broccoli plant and lo yeah. broccoli is not on uh -huh. here, yeah. I cannot suggest that you eat that broccoli.
I mean, it's you can't make any recommendation that's inconsistent with the labeling. Uh, one other thing that all labels have is a signal word. It's a very <laughs> simple signal word. The, 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 the caution, warning, and danger. Yes. Most of the products that we see at the, at the uh, you know, lawn and garden centers, most of them have caution on them. And I'll, let me show you. I'm going to show you on all of these products where that word is. It's all caps, all capital letters here, caution. Let me grab this one over here. This is horticultural oil. Mm -hmm. All seasoned horticultural and dormant spray oil. Look, caution. There it goes. Yeah. The caution is low toxicity. That means it's low toxic, toxicity, uh, low mammalian toxicity, so it's not that toxic mm -hmm. to humans or, or mammals. Roundup, herbicide, look here. Caution. Mm -hmm. Kept all caps. Uh, I've got an example of an agricultural pesticide label that I took off of a two and a half gallon jug right here. I didn't want to bring the jug in, but it's Lord's <laughs> Band 4E. Look, warning. Warning. Mm. Yeah. So warning indicates that the product is moderately toxic. Mm. This one happens to be also a restricted use pesticide. Mm -hmm. So a homeowner can't buy Lord's Band. But again, warning is moderately toxic. Mm -hmm. Most Restricted use pesticides carry the signal word Warning. danger. Okay. And if they carry the signal word danger and the word poison is also on there, and you'll see a little uh, diagram of a skull, skull and crossbones. crossbones. That's right. <laughs> so that That's should right. tell you if it's, if, it's, if it's danger, that means that it is highly toxic by at least one route of exposure. Okay. Which could be, and there are several routes of exposures, and it is on the label. We'll tell you which route to look for. It could be inhalation, you can breathe it in. It could be ingestion, or through your skin. Okay. And, mm -hmm. Wow. But that's read the label. Read, read, the read label. and stuff, heed man. the label. Very very important. Look, I have one last question for you though. Okay. We have a label. We can't just deface the label, can we? You you've got to follow the label, okay. and you've got to use the product in the container according to the label instructions. You can't take the product out of this container, put it in another container that's not labeled right. because you need to have the label with the product all the time. Uh, but this is a, this is a, a legal document that you know, we're bound by law to follow. And the label is the law. The label is the law, mm -hmm. that's right. This is the good stuff. There's a difference between good law stuff. and policy. This is not a policy that That's we generally law. follow from time to time like I used to do in my work before I retired. This is <laughs> the law, and you've got to follow the law. <laughs> got to follow it. you got to follow the law. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> D. We appreciate that. <laughs> it's good stuff. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.